So I think it's wonderful Barcelona is doing this. I frequently mention it in cities around the world. Barcelona is a leader in this notion of the Fab City Initiative. I think the challenge isn't going to be the technical engineering, it's the social engineering. It's the power of these fab labs is empowering bright inventive people to create and frequently they're frustrated in very structured formal institutions and so the art and the challenge is just like EAC functions is to maintain the culture of the fab lab network as it grows into part of the city infrastructure. So far from what I'm seeing that's happening but the social engineering is as, is as important as the technical engineering. Other cities and countries have done it, but Barcelona is a pioneer. But more than that, what happened at Fab 10 is bigger than many people realize. When Mayor Trias clicked the button to start a 40-year countdown, he was committing the city not just to Fab City, not just to Fab Labs, but Barcelona producing what it consumes. I predict many other cities are going to sign up to that same commitment, and it's going to become a giant project to realize it. Oh, in five years, the Fab Labs will be open. I think right now that seems like a big stretch. In five years, it'll become obvious. It'll be familiar and they'll be working. I think five years from now is going to be really tackling the next step, which is if you take consumer products and food and energy and waste, how Barcelona builds on the Fab Lab network and really starts to get control over all of its inputs and outputs. And so there's a lot of work to come. The reason Barcelona is such an interesting site for this is um, fabulous design sense, amazing culture, and 50% youth unemployment. And so there's this divergence between the formal economy and kind of the sensibility. And something I see happening all over the world is there's a new generation that's giving up on traditional government and traditional business and is kind of inventing a new economy. What's so interesting in Barcelona is trying to bring them together, trying to marry bottom-up, do-it-yourself maker movement with notions like civic infrastructure, where the city does the hard parts that you can't do individually, but the individuals do what the city can't do. And so you know, the biggest challenge is how you marry those, and I see Barcelona as a laboratory for that. The two Ateneo I, I went to were Meridiana and Le Corp. At Meridiana, what I saw was many people in the community were just beginning to understand what it actually meant. That from a distance, they need food, they need products, and what's coming are machines. But as we started to explain, with the machines, you can create food and create products rather than just receiving them. And so there was a number of sort of eye-opening moments of going from, I don't understand this, to this is the most important thing. Um, at Le Corte, my favorite moment was we had a kind of opening event and there are many people circulating. And while people were circulating, there was this very young girl and uh, while we were all talking, she went crawling off into the lab because it looked interesting, and she was kind of exploring, boy, that's interesting, what is that, and I want to do that. And the little girl, for me, that was the heart of it. If the little girl grows up, having your curiosity stretched by seeing the lab, and then sort of executing on explaining to her and her learning, you know, that, I see that little girl as the future of Barcelona. Thank <laughs> you.